Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to the Piper Report. This is the second video on this I'm recording. The first one, it got all messed up, and it was kind of long, so I'm going to make this one shorter because I don't want to really go through it all again. But I saw a video that Holly Seeliger did, as well as Sticks, and the video goes over this Taylor Lorenz, this journalist, quotation marks, that works for the Daily Beast. And she made these comments, these arrogant, horrible comments, and it really depicts and delineates her own just sheer arrogance of the subject. What she thinks is that in order to be called a journalist, and in order to actually do journalism, you have to have a journalist degree, and you have to work for a major outlet. Like, here's a tweet she wrote. It amazes me how many YouTubers think they should be paid for doing interviews with news outlets. I'd say about 40% of the time I reach out to influencers, they ask about compensation. Like, are you crazy? Let me ask you something, Taylor. Have you ever did any type of video editing? It's not as easy as you think. You probably have people at Daily Beast that do it for you. But when you actually find clips, and you have to cut the clips, and you have to mend them together, you have to blend them together, you have to make a transcript for it, you have to find the copy, the uncopyrighted music for it, you have to put them all together in such a way that it entertains people, but at the same time it influences them. That takes a lot of work. Probably a lot more work than you do. You probably... you. For you, it's probably all made. Since you work for the Daily Beast, you can go anywhere. They will fly you on a private jet, and you will meet with all these influential people who will tell you what you want to hear, and you write it down. Now, I'm not saying that those who do not do any type of, of, of video editing, for instance, Styx doesn't, I'm not saying that they aren't working, because they are taking the time to weave through the bullshit. They are taking the time from not just reading one article from one media outlet, they are reading from every outlet, trying to find the truth in there, and trying to deliver that truth in an unbiased manner, or at the very least, in a manner that differs from the media narrative. So there is a lot of work, even for people that don't do any video editing. It still takes work. And this notion that you have to go to journalism school and work for a major media outlet to be considered a journalist is nonsensical at best, and it's a horrible, horrible opinion to have at worst. It really is. I can guarantee you some of the stuff I dug up, and mind you, I am not a big YouTuber. I have like 375,000 total views and like 1,666 subs, which isn't bad, but compared to some people, I mean, it's nothing. But some of the work I've had to do, some of the videos I've done, for instance, my 27 admitted false flags, you can't just find that on one site. You have to look all around. Or my Islam, religion of peace, question mark, where you find all these different stories about the United Arab Emirates. Or there's another one I even did. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't want to plug my own channel on my channel, but there's one I did called This is What America is All About. And in it, I actually wrote my own speech, and I did my own video editing, and I put a soundtrack to it, and... I wrote it because I watched a Ronald Reagan montage of a speech he did, and I tried to em emulate that. And that one took me days. This most recent video I did, 62 news stories in two minutes, that one took hours to do because I had to find all the articles. I had to write the transcript. I had to speed up the video. I had to find the song. The song I took from Rules of Attraction, which took me forever to actually get that audio. And that's just me with a small platform. There are people like Sargon of Akkad, who does his um, uh, This Week in Stupid, there's a lot of video editing there. There is a lot of work that people do on YouTube, and to criticize us, like we, are, we should be laughed at for wanting compensation when people want to question us and question those that we influence, is nonsensical, and we should laugh at you. And again, those on YouTube and those that do media that, that do not do in, any video editing, they are working hard too. They don't have it made like Taylor Lorenz here, who works for a large media outlet, who can go wherever she wants, paid for by her company, who has influence right away, so she can meet with these people in DC, or meet with these people at large tech companies who know the Daily Beast, so they are more willing to give her information. But there are others on YouTube that aren't like that, that have to do their own research, that have to dig, through the bullshit, read between the lines, find various articles, compare them, find the truth, and report on it. It's just, it amazes me that 
she thinks to be a journalist, you have to go to journalism school and you have to work for a major media outlet. Before I wrap this up, just one quick thing here. How does she think media companies even originate? Do you think all of a sudden a company just starts like that and 30 people are hired and they make multi, they make millions of dollars? No. A lot of time, it's one person who does their own research, does all their hard work, who get, gets enough following from everyone, that gets enough donations, start building their base, that eventually they can hire somebody else. They can branch out more. They can start creating more content and they become bigger. Many media outlets were created like that. For instance, in Infowars, Alex Jones, he built that from the ground up. It wasn't like all of a sudden he held that, had all that money. I mean, that's just one example. There are countless others. So it's just her arrogance is beyond me. I mean, just read some of these tweets. Wow, and apparently every moron on Twitter agrees. The society is doomed. Yes, the society is doomed because people don't have it made like you do. Now, I'm not saying... Okay, I should clarify this as well. There are those that work in the in the media industry that work for organizations like the Daily Beast that are actually good journalists that do take the time and research. I'm not saying they're all like Taylor Lorenz, but Taylor Lorenz is trying to basically put people in a t in a particular category, and her arrogance is what's frustrating. There are those good journalists who work for major media outlets who actually do the work, who actually focus. For instance, Sarah Carter from Circa News. She broke Extortion 17. She broke some of the big stories regarding the, a, a judicial watch and the Hillary Clinton scandal. She is a great reporter. Not someone like Taylor Renz, who thinks she's better than everybody else. Sarah Carter knows she's not better than everybody else. But yeah, that's my little rant. There's really not much more I can add besides that and what Styx and Holly Seeliger both said. It's just this attitude. I mean, the corporate media and mainstream media outlets in general are dying. You will see an exponential growth happen in 2018. It's like the the yeast fermentation cycle. It goes from goes from leg phase to exponential growth to stationary to death. Okay, yes, I just used some fermentation <laughs> fermentation example in my analysis, I'm sorry. The corporate media is dying. And you will see this more and more year after year. And hopefully, someone like Taylor Lorenz, Lorenz in a few years, hopefully, she's so desperate because her media organization and her just career in general has failed that in order to actually get accurate news, she has to pay those on YouTube that she's criticizing. In order to actually get known, she has to pay some of the bigger outlets on YouTube just to get her opinion out there and people to know her. Karma is a bitch. I think it will come around to bite her. And hopefully it happens soon. And I'm done.